in addition to that, you'll notice that um, uh, we have phone statuses now. So under your phone numbers, you're going to notice a correct number status, a wrong number status, a no answer status, DNC status, which actually has three different DNC statuses, which I'll talk about in a second, um, our dead leads, and then your tags. Okay, so under the fact of DNCs, you'll notice if you click DNC, you have correct number DNC, wrong number DNC, and then unknown owner DNC. So why that's important for anybody in real estate marketing to homeowners is because when you get someone that says, hey, don't ever call me again, you wanna try to figure out if that person is the correct homeowner or not. Because if they aren't, then you're gonna continue marketing to numbers, you know, the rest of the numbers to try to get the correct homeowner. If they are, then you could stop marketing to that record, right? That's simple. Um, but if they say, oh yeah, no, that's not my property. Just stop calling me. Everyone calls me about that property. It's not my property. Cool. That's the wrong number DNC. So it's going to DNC it and it's going to mark it wrong number. Then I'm going to continue calling the rest of the numbers. But if it's the correct owner DNC, then it's going to market correct number. And then I'm not going to continue marketing to the rest of these phone numbers, right? Um, or you just might not know. You might be like, they might be like, yo, uh, just don't fucking call me. I'm not telling you any more information. That's it. I'm done. And so it's just going to be unknown DNC. I have no idea. It's just DNC. And I'm going to continue marketing. If they answer this phone and it ends up being the same person, I asked you if you're the homeowner, you didn't freaking tell me. So I DNC the other number, this phone number, however, I have, I don't have, I can still call it. Right. And so, um, just remember DNC is do not call the number, not the person. It's the number. If they have two phone numbers to them, then that's their own prerogative. Um, all right. So um, really cool. Why this is really important um, to start using statuses is um, really similar to what we were already doing with tags and educating with tags. But it's so much more powerful now because now uh, whenever we're exporting and stuff, we can export based off of those statuses um, and, uh, and then the tags. So let's just say you want all correct numbers that's to a relative, then you can have, or like, let's say all the correct numbers that are for husbands, then I can export correct numbers uh, of, of husbands, uh, maybe rather than, um, you know, wives or whatever else, and, and maybe relatives or, or, or uh, personal representatives or, or whatever, right? Um, and where it really becomes super powerful, though, is when we talk about exhausted records, right? So if, for example, I market to this person like a ton of times, um, now that we have a fixed status on phone numbers, we can create a filter so that you guys can filter by your records based off of records that have phone numbers that all the statuses are added on the phone numbers, but there's no correct status. And so, boom, that creates an exhausted filter. You filter by marketing attempts, 10, uh, all phone statuses tagged except for, you know, no correct number and whatever. And boom, you have all of the records that, you know, you're, that are exhausted. You should send direct mail to. So little things like that. 